Hello friends, this is the 18th video tutorial inside the video lecture series on machine learning. So in the last lecture we have seen about couple of list of machine learning algorithm. So uh, we have divided this machine learning algorithm with the help of two ways. Uh, we have seen learning style ways of machine learning algorithm and a similarity based lesson machine learning algorithm. So we discuss about these two supervised and unsupervised learning algorithm that is nothing but a learning style way of uh, you can divide a whole class of machine learning algorithm into these two category. Now from this lecture onward we are going to discuss this individual similarity based uh, uh, algorithm. So in this lecture we are going to uh, learn about this decision tree algorithm, regression kind of algorithm or uh, association uh, rule mining algorithm and uh, remaining all others uh, similarity based algorithm we are going to see in the subsequent lecture. So let's start with the individual uh, regression algorithm. So this is a supervised learning algorithm, unsupervised learning algorithm we, we have seen in the last lecture. So this is the regression algorithm. So regression is a uh, one kind of similarity kind of uh, group of algorithm that is called the regression. So regression is nothing but it's a uh, one type of supervised way of uh, learning. So supervised way of learning means you have been given a data plus you have been given a label associated with individual data also and you need to model those uh, data. So this regression kind of algorithm predict the continuous uh, value output or it can uh, even predict the probability of occurrence of individual labels. So uh, s let's take one example like a house price prediction. So you have been given this uh, data set based on some feature on a house and your job is to find if you are given suppose the new house data. So your job is to predict this value. So that is nothing but the regression kind of linear regression kind of algorithm. This linear regression can be a non-linear form also. So you can model this data in a very straight line format or either you can uh, model it in a curve format also. That's up to you how you want to model. So this is kind of linear or a non-linear or kind of regression. So this family of algorithm regression is helpful for the predicting the continuous value. That is another uh, and it can be helpful for finding the particular class also based on the probability. So it will tell us that individual mm, class this record is occurring in individual class with the this much amount of probability. So you can decide that how much confidence score for individual uh, record is there for individual classes. So this type of uh, regression is called logistic re regression. So this is about the regression kind of algorithm. So this linear regression, logistic regression or even non-linear regression we are going to see into our future lecture with machine learning coding inside the scikit-learn library and what are the available another famous uh, library of machine learning. So, uh, now let's move for the decision tree kind of algorithm. So this is uh, another uh, uh, sets of algorithm uh, which are helpful for especially the uh, classification kind of uh, phenomenon occurring in machine learning system. So cla for the classification it can classify either class inside the binary classification or a multi-class even a classification. So this kind of uh, decision tree kind of algorithm will be basically based on the decision taken for classifying individual features. So something like uh, you have been given a huge set of feature and for the based on the first feature. So, so let's take this is the first feature. So for first feature you take some decision whether you have to go into left side or right side of this tree. So based on that decision you classify another F2 and maybe F3. So whatever the decision you have been taken and the F1 side you again further go for the classification based on another feature F2. Again you decide what are the values of these F2 features and based on the classification on the top on the basis of F2 feature again you decide what are the uh, possible classes for that. 
if you have decided f3 uh, uh, something value which is greater than something or based on some threshold you have land up into some of the this three then you will follow this route once you reach to the very end of the uh, route you will eventually uh, get mm, what class the individual record belongs to so this kind of algorithms are the decision tree so based on individual features one by one at individual feature you take the decision and eventually you are going towards the landing what are the possible or what is the possible class this testing sample belongs to so for that i have listed some couple of algorithm like ah, this id3 algorithm or c4 point these are both the variant of each other based on some computational complexity or the features uh, based this is nothing but the training and testing kind of so if you have been given a training data this our model is nothing but it will create this decision tree that based on some feature you decide where to go again based on some other features you decide where to go eventually based on the number of decision you have taken at the very last step you will reach to the conclusion that uh, this sample belongs to this particular class so this type of decision tree kind of algorithm will be mainly useful for the classification this three i have uh, shown based on the two uh, classes either it can land to left or right but it can be a multi class classification also so these are all the decision tree algorithm now another set of family of uh, algorithm based on the similarity is the association rule learning so uh, this kind of uh, uh, algorithm facially uh, extract the some kind of rule out of your Uh, data so let's concentrate on uh, e-commerce kind of website so in e-commerce website people usually uh, buy the product so in a one transaction it may buy item one item two or it in another transaction some other user will uh, buy item two and uh, three so uh, it, this uh, association rule kind of algorithm will be much more Uh, helpful for uh, predicting or modeling the e-commerce users buyer behave buying behavior that what kind of buying behavior it has so this um, concentrate on this part actually uh, suppose you are uh, given individual transactions and for each transaction suppose user is buying item 1 and 2 together suppose some user is buying item 2 and 4 together some are buying 4 and 6 together so what this association uh, rule kind of algorithm will do based on this feature, uh, data available it will try to predict that if user buys 1 and 2 it will try to predict that user or by use user is most likely to buy this item 3 also if user buys 2 and 4 user is most by likely to buy item 2 also so this way all kind of uh, uh, rules uh, will be extracted based on the data available or what are the transaction happens by the individual customer on this e-commerce website so for the amazon or any other e-commerce uh, website they track continuously that for individual transaction what are the uh, products i am buying and for each uh, this uh, transaction next time this e-commerce company kind of company will try to predict with based on this kind of uh, association rule uh, kind of algorithm that if you buy this couple of sets of Uh, product in a one transaction it is more likely that you will buy this another set of product also so this kind of rule can be extracted with the help of this a priori algorithm or eclat algorithm see both are the uh, kind of variants of uh, each other both goals are trying to achieve or extract this rule out of this our training uh, data set so this family of uh, algorithms are generally called the association rule uh learning and uh, e-commerce website generally use this kind of uh, learning so that's it for this lecture friends uh, in a future lecture we'll see about another similarity kind of uh, algorithm like a neural network algorithm or uh, unsupervised way of uh, uh, learning algorithm like a clustering algorithm or a deep learning algorithm uh, regularization based algorithm in all those families of algorithm i hope you enjoyed listening this video if you don't understand anything please do comment uh, inside the video please do like 
comment subscribe it